Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and this is Mahesh. Today we are going to look into the case studies which is available in Professional Cloud Architect exam. So there are four case studies. So one of them is EHR case study. So in the past, so I have posted videos on case study related cheat sheet. And most of the time the cheat sheet was in a tablet pack. So I thought why don't we create something new. So a visual treat is always definitely going to be a good one. So being an architect, if you can create visual aid, that's always going to be appreciated. So a picture talks more than a thousand words, right? So I thought, why don't we create a visual cheat sheet? Meaning the moment in the exam, professional cloud architect exam, if the question says, for this case study, refer to EHR healthcare. So this architecture diagram, which we are going to create, should pop up in front of your mind. So that is the plan which we are going to do. So let's get started. All right, I'm in the official website where we can get to know the details about what kind of stuff are going to be asked in professional cloud architect exam. So they give a clear cut picture and something newly added is also the percentage, which is almost like, if I'm not wrong, six months, uh, they have added this. So what percentage comes? So today the focus is going to be on EHR healthcare. So if I open it, it's going to show me a three page PDF document real quick we can look into it so this is into healthcare which talks about that they have some co-location facility they have a, a co-location where the lease period is getting exam uh, over so meaning that co-location facility can be moved into google cloud and most of their workloads are running in containerized fashion so they have kubernetes running in on-premise they have kubernetes going to run in google cloud so something on android is going to come in the picture they have some databases um, so there are some apis legacy apis and file based apis so that's primarily what i would say in a nutshell um, ehr case study is all about now what i'm going to do is i'm going to basically want to generate an e uh, architecture diagram for EHR case study. So I'm going to do control A. Or oh, let me copy it. Copy the text. And I'm going to use something called as eraser.file. So it's a, a nice uh, document and diagrams which you can create using this uh, application for any kind of engineering related stuff which is which is one of the cool thing which i see and in this there are various features the one which we are going to use is basically the diagram here gpt so based on the information which i saw in the about us it is powered by chat gpt 4.0 uh, that's my understanding so when i open it up so this is going to show me something like this, a prompt where you're going to put it. So here we are going to paste the entire stuff which we copied. So this is what we are going to do it. And what type of uh, image you want to generate it. So we are going to use cloud architecture, which is going to make more sense. So let me click on generate diagram. So I'm not going to pause this video. So we wanted to see how uh, creative and how quickly it is going to generate the image. So Let's wait for it. Uh, it is going to show the image and if you wanted to edit it further, so definitely here and there, you may want to do some edits. So we can see how it is going to be possible. So let's go ahead and do it. Looking at this, uh, if we see it, it shows the images. It shows basically if I basically zoom in and look into it, there's a web app. App engine is not going to come in, so we'll look into that. Kubernetes is there, it is going to connect with various databases, that's good. Big query, storage, that's good. Um, there is an on premise stuff, which is really good. So they have a VPN part, that VPN, and this Kubernetes. So it looks like a pretty good one, is what I would say. Now, we may want to do some further changes if you want. We can go click on the save and edit the data. So it is going to pop up. Another new screen where you can use the option to further edit it. So, and then you can use a AI capability. So, I'm just going to use Canvas. So, which is going to show me something like this. Uh, let's also zoom in. So, this is going to be easy. So, good. So, App Engine is not going to be there. So, it is that 
web app, but the icon which it is using is like app in view side. That is something we can see. Can we change it? We will see if it should be changeable. Kubernetes cluster definitely is going to be there. That is going to be connecting to various databases that it is showing. In the blue case, it has shown nicely Microsoft SQL Server, but the icon of Cloud SQL, which is really cool. Redis, it is showing the memory support. MongoDB, we don't have anything uh, offering any uh, like a managed servers in Google Cloud. So that's the reason MongoDB is shown like this. So if we want, we can just double click on it. It is going to show something called as uh, diagram as code concept. So here, app engine icon, we can remove. So I just wanted to do that part first. So let's have not, because that's going to mislead, right? So app engine Kubernetes, no, that does not make any sense. So let's remove it and we'll just leave it like that. So no need of an icon. So web app, or we can see if I can get a website. Let's leave it. Let's not have any icon for that. Um, for MongoDB, instead of because we don't have anything like that, so I'm going to use the MongoDB name itself. So that way, it is going to show that leaf icon, which is basically the MongoDB's uh, logo. So that is good. Um, let me just now see the flow. So web app. Basically, it's going to be an ingress or a gateway kind of a stuff, which is going to hit Kubernetes. And Kubernetes is going to interact with database. And there are some analytical requirements there. So maybe we may read it from BigQuery kind of stuff. So, and this piece, storing it into Google Cloud Storage may not be required. So if you want to remove it, what you can do is, so before I go and remove it, there are a few hanging stuffs which we may need to correct it. VPN is good. This interconnect is hanging, so you can have either cloud VPN or interconnect. Uh, but this interconnect is like nowhere; it's not connected. So let's try to remove basically Google Cloud Storage bucket and cloud interconnect. That is something which we are going to do it. And this edits we can do it. It is showing the monitoring related stuff. So cloud ops is a new name. So that also we can edit it. So for this one, right? I'm going to double click on it. So there's a feature called as AI beta. So where we can do edits. So remove cloud storage and cloud interconnect. So it's going to be again a prompt is what I would say. So when we do that, it should remove that part and we should be left with a pretty decent architecture which we should be able to go ahead and see it. Yes, it's been removed. And I'm just going to do a small change, one last change. Uh, as an architect, I always need to position the right product with the right name, right? So instead of using stack driver monitoring, what we are going to use, the icon is going to be perfect. So I'm going to use call it as cloud ops. That's going to look better. So for this one also, Cloud Ops. Okay, that is one screen. We can just let me just re do it. So, Cloud Monitoring. Okay. The name, instead of Stack Driver, we'll make it as Cloud Monitoring. That's going to be better. I guess this names are going to be important because there's a connection. So changing this is going to change it everywhere. So either I have to make sure I change it everywhere. So, but changing the names are possible. So here you will see the flow. So I have to change it in every place. Then it's going to make more sense. So let's just do that real quick. I get the control heads find and replace. So I'll call it as load and replace it. Okay, so the icon got changed, so we can just do a real quick one. Cloud monitoring. So 
will do this today. Cloud monitoring. So these are going to be a part of cloud ops. So let's just change that part. Okay, which is good. Stack driver logging. We'll change it to this one. So with a pretty easy uh, diagram as code, we should be able to do the stuff. So that's it. We have a pretty good uh, architecture. Uh, so is it complete? I would not say. So certain stuff which is missing is like Anthos definitely is going to come into picture. Anthos config management is going to come into picture. Why Anthos? Because we have something in on-premise. Uh, AWS, sorry. In on-premise, we have basically the Kubernetes stars. So that is missing. So we have uh, Kubernetes in on-premise. We have Kubernetes in Google Cloud. So if you want to manage it, Anthos is going to play a major role. Uh, Active Directory, you can see it. That's because there is a mention of Active Directory. Active Directory. So that's something which it shows, which is good. So it has done a pretty good one, also including the icons. And the last piece is uh, we have to save this one. So that way we could be able to use this for our uh, future purpose. So I can export this into a image. I should be able to see that it is going to have my zip file. In that zip file, you will have the readme, the markup, and also the image, which you should be able to see. So the intent is the moment you get this case study, these components should pop up and it will be easy for you to look at. So that's a video which I wanted to share, which was basically a visual uh, cheat sheet. So uh, do let me know your comments and thoughts in the comments section. So we'll plan to do something very similar for the remaining three case studies. Thank you for watching.